So, welcome back to the channel. My name is Pierre. Today we are going to talk about the Canon EOS RP. I have bought this camera six months ago and I've learned a lot of stuff about this camera. Good things and bad things. We haven't talked about cameras in a long time, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about battery life first, because without a battery we can't shoot. So the battery life on the Canon EOS RP, and I'm talking about the original battery you get when you buy the Canon EOS RP. The original battery is, is relatively fine. I can shoot to two hours a day. I have had some instances where the battery just dies on me after two hours. And I think it's because the way I'm shooting, the way I'm shooting right now is I'm just rambling on for five minutes and just cut out later the things that are unnecessary and the things I made the mistake on. And previously, I tried to make my points faster, so I filmed like for one minute for the thing I wanted to say. And if I got my point across, I stopped recording and I went on. I think that is the problem, or at least that's the reason why my battery dies faster. I think the battery is okay. The battery has three stripes. The first stripe, when the first stripe leaves you know you are around like 30% so when the first stripe leaves you know that you don't have a lot of time to shoot but I think the battery life is just okay so let's talk about autofocus for a moment the autofocus is pretty fast compared to my Canon 1300D when I'm vlogging and when I'm on the longboards most of the time when I'm just just panning the camera up from my shirt or from my hoodie. I needed to have a autofocus that needs to be crazy fast. And this camera does the job pretty well because when I'm just swinging the camera around, there you have it, the autofocus is there. I have to say for photos, when you are shooting photos on the Canon EOS RP, it doesn't have many autofocus points. When your subject is really far from the camera, your autofocus isn't that reliable it is good but not that reliable i would say out of the 10 times it would capture it nine times eight times the other one or two times it just misses a little bit the dual pixel autofocus is just of course it's not the best as i said so you need to keep that in mind for when you are going to buy an EOS rp but times when i screwed it up it was just my own fault instead of the camera's fault so the autofocus is just so let's talk about picture profiles when we are talking about the video. Before I use the picture profile I'm using right now, I use the neutral picture profile. And if you haven't seen my settings video, you check the video up here somewhere on the card. But I used neutral picture profile for a long time. I think from six months I used it like four months, three and a half months. And I was satisfied with it, but I I was really struggling a lot to get it in the look I really wanted to have. So after a while I started to look at things I could do to make it a little bit easier for myself to get the look I really wanted and I found picture profile which is called CineStyle. So I downloaded it CineStyle and I tried it out for a couple of days. I made some test shots with it and I tried to edit them, I tried to apply a lot I'm always using. It looked just... It's a really great flat picture profile which contains a lot of detail which I needed to make my look look better. <laughs> Finestal isn't originally on the Canon EOS RP. Keep that in mind. Canon EOS RP doesn't have a flat picture profile like the Canon EOS R, R5, R6. Um, but that's one thing I've learned throughout the six months I'm using the Canon EOS RP. <laughs> Let's talk about low light performance. I was really impressed by the low light performance on the Canon EOS RP. So a couple of videos ago, I shot a video with my buddy Marco. We had a shoot at the wine store. We shot in a basement of the wine store and the lighting situation there was pretty bad. So it was a low light situation. At first, I wasn't sure if the camera would handle it properly because I never shoot in low light situation. So I didn't know if the footage would turn out good enough without having too much noise and things like that. When I look back 
at the footage the footage looked really great so it was a really clean and sharp image really clean and sharp scene of the vlog the cleaner the image is the less you have to fix and post so sometimes the noise can overtake the image but the low light performance of this camera is really amazing something that stands out to me shooting on this camera in a low light situation like I did back in the other vlog it looks pretty great pretty dope so I'm really happy having the Canon EOS RP Canon EOS RP six months right now the autofocus is really good low light performance really great really impressed lack of c-log that is something that's a bummer to me up to this point this camera sounds like the perfect camera doesn't it so let's talk about the experience i got the past six months from this camera because experiencing the camera is really important because you need to have a good experience with the camera and if the experience isn't good enough the camera won't feel good so as I stated in the three reasons why I use the Canon EOS RP video I talked about the not overly complicated menu the menu is so simplistic Canon has done a really great job of making the menus as simple as possible I'm shooting a vlog and I'm shooting photos and I want to switch from the frame rates when I want to switch from the picture profile and I want to switch from other things I can do that in a pretty fast way and I know there are a lot of options but the options aren't really overly complicated the menu isn't overly complicated it only takes me like two to three seconds to do it so I can get the shot so I can get the b-roll so I don't spend a lot of time just figuring out what the menu does and where everything is and things like that it's also because I have it for six months but the menu isn't overly complicated so I really 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 like that so when it comes to experience there's one thing about this camera I don't really like and I haven't fixed it yet the camera is really small when I'm holding the camera at the handle my pinky is floating in mid-air and it feels really uncomfortable I try to adjust my hand so my pinky can at least touch something the camera is so small the camera is so light and i like that that the camera is small and light but because it's small and light my hands don't properly fit on the handle so when i'm shooting like this holding the lens with my left hand and my right hand holds the camera but it just it just doesn't fit really well and something that can be fixed with a battery grip so i have to buy a battery grip but off the gecko if you buy the canon eos rp and you have big hands the experience of holding the camera will be a little bit off but that's something i personally don't like it doesn't ruin my experience of making content with this camera but it makes it a little bit less comfortable so to say i hope it makes sense so I just wanted to talk about the last flaw I think this camera has in my opinion I think a flaw of this camera is not having in-body stabilization and it's not necessarily a thing I need to have but it is something that's valuable to have in terms of making b-roll or making those smooth shots you want to take because I don't have a gimbal I'm not usually shooting with a gimbal I'm usually shooting with my hand just I'm shooting handheld having in-body stabilization is uh, not necessarily a must but there's something great to have and my lens my 15 to 35 millimeter rf lens has image stabilization i can get some smooth shots with it but when i want to get some hero shots from up close the chances are shooting a handheld up close shot will make your footage look shaky so it's a bummer that the camera doesn't have it it's just the camera can't have everything you want i just like to have in body stabilization so do I think the Canon EOS RP is a valuable camera to get in 2021 and the end of 2020? My answer to this question is yes. Price range is just amazing. You can find this body, this camera body for $900. So it's a pretty cheap full frame camera. It has 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second. It doesn't have log. It doesn't have in body image stabilization. And the battery life is just okay. Right now my battery is on red. So it's, it's going to 
die on me pretty quickly so I have to finish this up in real time pretty fast in my opinion this camera is worth it especially for people who want to get into full frame cameras who want to buy full frame lenses and don't want to break the bank like compared to the EOS R the EOS R5 and 6 the EOS RP does a decent job for full frame cameras so I recommend this camera I'm using this camera for six months and I'm happy with it that being said guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys got my perspective on this camera and you guys learned something if you guys like this video make sure to leave a like subscribe if you are new to the channel and if you enjoy this type of content and with that being said guys i see you guys in the next video